<laughs> we are now live. We are now so, live. So, hello, everybody. How are we? How are we? Tomorrow with Hammock Town and Hammock Town and we have Wilson and, and, and Douglas here Douglas from the US Hammock Club. Thank you guys so much for your time guys today. So for your time so today. Jefferson's a sophomore. Jefferson's a sophomore. Marketing major. Marketing major. And he enjoys, and he enjoys the basketball stadium. The basketball stadium. Uh, building sets uh, of building sets of woodworking, woodworking and, and helping and volunteer at the local yeah, high school track. school track. And he got into hammocking about a year and a half ago. A half ago when he went on a camping trip, camping parents convinced him to do that. That's a item. And I highly agree. And I highly and agree. With him. He's been hammocking ever since. Douglas, Douglas, Douglas here, who is going to be starting pharmacy school. And enjoy photography, helping out with the campus. He does a lot of social media work. And you know, and he got into hammocking, you know, uh, Eno and Grand Trunk, and, and uh, it's been a weekly I thing with friends. friends. And and we discovered them from the UF Hammock Club video. video. You guys yeah. probably, you know, if you're watching this, you've seen the video, you've seen how amazing the event is, and they kind of agreed to help us out and give us this interview and, you know, tell us a little bit about the Hammock Club, their goals, their goals, their goals, coming here, and how they threw it together. So I'll let you guys take it away and tell a little bit about the event, what you want to put it together, and what are your goals for the Hammock Club? All right. Um... Well, I guess we'll start with uh, sort of what made us want to put together. Um, there's a, f a few different things to that. Um, obviously, we had like our, our weekly sort of like get together group, um, which was named Eno Trunk Two Sis. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> so they they uh, it was it was Doug and maybe ten other people or so. They would they would meet. Um, it was a Plaza of the Americas, I believe. Uh, on campus, it's actually near like an architecture building <clears throat> um, where it originally started. Um, yeah, I guess. <laughs> so they, um, you know, that normally meet just somewhere on campus. Um, and one afternoon, they they wanted to they meet, met in front of the stadium, which is like you know sort of public road, high visibility. Mm -hmm. um, and a lady from the Gainesville Sun ended up stopping by our newspaper, um, and I was like sort of trying to get to this this hangout and I missed like being in the paper by like two minutes. Oh no. <laughs> and I was kinda of bummed about it. I was like, all right Doug, we gotta do this again. And we gotta we gotta do it big. <laughs> um so we, we ended up throwing throwing a party. Um and that one had about forty or fifty hammockers and um we were, you know sort of playing out in the field there too. Um so we, we threw that event and that got us a little attention. We threw another one just like it, um, like a month later or so. Um, and uh, I, I don't, Doug ended up talking to Grand Trunk a little bit. Um, <clears throat> and they sent him, or they were planning on sending him some hammock straps um, so, to kind of demo and like maybe promote a little bit. Um, so we sat down, it was a few days before spring break, and we're like, hey, we got to do sort of one last one, you know, end of the semester. Perfect. And we Perfect. looked at our calendars, and the best day was a, a reading day. You know, there's this sort of pre-exam day where no one has any classes. Um, so we picked that day, and it went live on social media, day one of spring break, and it, it had, um, it, it grew to like 1,100 people over spring break, so they were going. Wow. Wow. And we just kind of sat there and we kind of looked at each other. With every passing day, we had 80 more people RSVP. And every single day, we were just freaking out. <laughs> it, top, it tops, you know, like 1,800 and they got to like 2,100. And we're like, what on earth are we going to do? So we were, you know, we're, we're changing gears as quick as we can. You know, we got like two months before this event. And, you know, it passed a few hundred people. We had to change the location. Um, we had to go talk to the city. We had to go, um, you know, do all this stuff. We had to go, you know, find a, a venue. You know, so there was a lot, was a lot, lot of work in the background. In the background. Yeah. The city, um, the city, so the city. With every RSVP count, we were just, like, shifting <laughs> gears to, like, not screw it up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and we also decided to add shirts to yeah. the equation, which is completely separate task of <laughs> itself. We, we got to the shirt portion of it, and... Um, after we broke a, a thousand or so, yeah. and then we're like, "Well, we can't pay for anything because <laughs> we're like a brand new nothing," you know? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Um, so, so now we're tracking down like people who sponsor it. We're doing all this like marketing stuff, and 
and talking to local businesses as well as like Grand Trunk and Eno and stuff like that. That is very exciting. Um, that is very exciting. So like it just gets crazy and crazier. And um, so, I mean, that that's, it like, it kind of consumed us for a bit. I bet. I, I bet. bet. How many total people many showed up to the party? party. Um, we, we wish we had a guest list, you know, like a wedding or something, but we didn't. Um, our, our best guess is, is like six or 700, maybe eight. Yeah, from the video. Yeah, uh, from the video. Like, yeah, there, there was a ton of people there. Um, we ended up, it was sort of near like the end of the day, so we kind of missed the peak because we were busy sort of just like handling it all. But we did a video of me running around counting all the hammocks. <laughs> it was like 160 or something like that. Oh, man. Um, oh, man. So that, like, that was a ton of fun. But we definitely had more than that earlier, but we were kind of, we were a little, like, just trying to make sure everything worked, you know? Mm, making sure the shirt was going, shirts were going smoothly, making sure, like, you know, everything was was working. <laughs> very cool. Very cool. So you guys this year, 2015, right? Um, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, we had an idea to actually start it um, back when we were the Eden uh, Front Tuesdays group, but we were just like a group of, you know, like like you said, like 10 people max or something. And, you know, we talk about it, it's like, oh, you know, the possibility to start a club um, is within reach, but, you know, we didn't really have that strong of like uh, support base or, um, you know, we were still kind of doing classes and just hanging out when we could. Um, but I mean, with the success of, you know, the earlier event um, that we had out in front of the stadium, like that was just literally the perfect, um, stepping stone for just the club in general. Oh, the great segue. Oh, the great segue. Hey, let's, do yeah, this. let's do this. Definitely. So, well, so what's the project what's like, the right, now, like or, right now? Or, which student government, which student government you, know, you know, any advice you, you can give to anybody else, anybody else trying to get this track and this start a club at their school. Club school. I mean, I want to see hands everywhere. See hands everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> We're working on it. <laughs> um, uh, I mean, like, as far as getting the paperwork done, um, I mean, it's a little time intensive, but mm -hmm. uh, we, we looked it up on, on online and they sort of had like a, a sample on how to fill it out. Mm -hmm. So like none of that was that hard. And we had a lot of people, a few, you know, sort of original you know, group of 10, you know, that kind of was willing to help us with that. So the founders. So the founders. Yeah. As far as, I mean, like our biggest speed bump, which we're actually still tackling, is um, even at a, a sort of a big university like this, we're, we're looking for a faculty member that isn't like part of another club, which you, they can't do too. Okay. Or, okay. you know, just finding some personal connection with one that's willing to, to lend us a hand as a sponsor. Um, so track that down first if, if you're starting a club. <laughs> Makes sense. Makes and then, sense. And then you said it was, you know, it was it originally 10 people, 10 people hanging out. You know, how many, how many members are going to have when you guys, have when you, guys you know, have this, have this fully have this started? Fully started, and, started and, and, you know, like you said, you're going to have the original conference. There was, there was, there was 2,000 people that RSVP. How many do you think will show up weekly to meetings and events? Events. I'm not really sure. I like I, that's a hard one to guess. Yeah. Um, there's definitely still a good amount of people who still interact with like the events or like the pages or like things that we post on Facebook or online. Um, so I would definitely say over 30. Maybe we'll get like 50. Nice. Maybe. Nice. Um, I mean, we'll keep it. We'll keep the estimated number low for now. Like you know, just yeah. not to bring our hopes up way too high. Um, but I mean, there's definitely like a huge interest in hammocking and stuff. So. Um, I think people are, people would be willing to get on out and mm -hmm. depends how we really run the meetings, I guess. Yeah. That is true. I mean, that's true. I mean, I can't get involved. I'm going to a hammock meeting. Yeah. It's really, really cussing your day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 And, uh, what, what, and, about, uh, what, what about, about hammock meeting? Are they in the position? Do you have to restrict it off? 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 Do you have to campus? Have you seen anything like that at all? Anything like that at all? As for campus, I don't think we've really had any restrictions or regulations. We've done like six stacks and some trees and, um, you know, with after this winter break, apparently it seemed that like every student that we knew or like close friend that was interested in hammocking <laughs> got it for Christmas. Yeah, last Christmas was no crazy. Way. So no Facebook was just <laughs> hammocks. <laughs> yeah, it, it was crazy. I remember <laughs> like just last year we would be, there would be maybe like, two or three hammocks in um, the main plaza. Um, and then now, you know, especially as the year came to a close, I was counting maybe like 10 to 12 
you know, different hammocks all set up throughout the whole plaza. I'm like, where does this come from? Um, <laughs> so I don't think UF really has any issues when it's on campus. Awesome. awesome. Um, although at um, UF actually has like a lake, like a private lake that students can go to. Um, but if I remember correctly, last year, I think they were saying that um, they didn't want people stacking over two. But that's the only kind of that's you know, understandable though. restriction <laughs> that I've kind of heard. But other than that, I don't think there's that much an issue with it. Mm. That's good. I think some, good. Un- I think some, un- some universities some like some universities UF, like UF, UF, and during finals, during finals, the university goes and hands that hand and hand and relax. Like I think like, you have to leave out of the book and why don't you guys set this up for finals? That's an idea you can even that's an idea you can even pitch for them. That'd be really cool. That'd be really cool. We we're considering doing like a like a lending or rental sort of business. Oh man! Oh man! <laughs> I mean, like you know, because alo- approaching the event, there's a lot of kids that like really want to like couldn't really drop one and buy one right then. Try it they out. Want to try, try it out. out. And like no one's really about like lending one out. So we thought we'd sort of be like the lenders, and then of course that would you know change their mind instantly because they're great. <laughs> and um, you know they they'd go on their way and probably buy one. Um, but yeah, we had at least a dozen people on the page being like, can I borrow someone's for like an hour? <laughs> and like, that's kind of a ridiculous request to ask like a giant crowd of people. Yeah. But yeah. We were, we were thinking about sort of like being the, the sort of helping hand with that. <laughs> I like it. I could I like it. I could see app or an app where somebody, somebody has an hour between them. Wow. I need a hammock app. I, have have app. Have I don't have want to be that call. I want to be that call. It's like the Jimmy Johns of hammocks. That'd be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Yes. So other than the lake, are there any favorite spots? Um, I mean, the, we like the stadium just because it's cool, but it's not like particularly on the way to anything. Um, you know, Plaza of the Americas is is sort of the central of the campus. Um, it's in between a couple of libraries. Um, there's almost always people there, and Doug and I actually, a week or two leading to the event, we just sort of creepily, which, you know, when you're in a hammock, like, you can't see anything. So when someone walks up to you, like, it's too late. So, <laughs> so we we sort of, like, sprung interview a bunch of people. And like, nice. hey, have you heard about nice. the event? And, like, I don't, I don't know what the stat was, but it was, like, 13 out of 15 people had, like, already, like, heard about it. And we're like, cool. No way. That's so cool. No way. That's so cool. <laughs> so we, we had a little bit of fun with that. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Very I mean, cool. I mean, that's the way to start the club. That's the way to start the club. Don't creep up on people on hand. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're having this event. We're having this event. We're And they got nowhere to go. They got nowhere to go. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, what about like moving uh, like, safety, not, safety, free safety, not, free safety? You know, I recently read an article you know, where. Ban hammocks on, on trees, and then they had some arborists and, 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 and they said it was not a problem. You guys teach people how to tie knots, teach them safety or anything. I know, I know. Some of the videos, some of the videos, great way to get up on the stage. It's really safe. You guys can go into some of that detail. That'll be great. That'll be great. Um. I mean, as far as a majority of like the strap types we use, um, there's not really any knot tying at all. Um, it's you know carabiners, um, and then it's it's running a, a strap through a loop. Um, so you know, granted, if the strap's fine, you're fine. Um, you know, whenever I get in mine, especially the more precarious, I won't like jump into it. I'll sort of you know get give it a sort of a test hang for a second, you know, just my hand or whatever, and and then, and then go for it. Um, but we we sort of half anticipated because we're the big event was at a park, like a city park. So we, we went and talked to the city and leading up to that, um, Grand Trunk was actually nice enough to send us a little bit of paperwork on sort of research they had done. Oh, great. In case the oh, city great. like sort of just decided it wasn't okay, you know, cause they, they didn't want us tearing down all the trees <laughs> or, you know, hurting them, yeah. constricting them. Um, but they ended up being really nice about it. Um, uh, you know, we, we expected speed bumps there, but there were none. And it was really cool. Um, so. No, it's yeah, awesome. That's no, awesome. <laughs> so, so what are the goals? What are the goals? You guys, goals have, you guys, have, you guys have two years left. Two years left. Where, where would you like to see this like going? going? What other events are you planning? Events are you know, planning? You know, you know, you know, coming in. 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 Coming in
Well, um, I mean, I, I think we sort of have a little bit of a where do we go from here syndrome, um, but not too much. Um, the, the next thing we're planning is, um, this is another sort of sponsor thing, um, is uh, Grand Trunk wanted us, wanted to come down and sort of hang out with us and right. sponsor like a trip right. for us. Um, so I'm, oh, I mean, both of us, of course, are, we're sort of planning like where we want to go for that and um, like putting all those logistics together, which is, you know, anything, you know, um, and it, it'd be like a two hour drive, you know, like hammock on the beach and stuff like that. So we're, we're in the middle of planning that, which is going to be insane. Um, so that, I mean, that's, that's on the forefront. That's going to be in like September. I'm inviting myself to that one. I'm inviting myself to that one. It'll, it'll, it'll be a VIP list. It'll be great. Um, but, <laughs> Um, but, um, you know, we've encouraged people to keep posting, you know, sort of over summer. Um, you know, cause I, I ran up to Tennessee, you know, like last week, you know, and, and sent a few photos down to the hammock club and stuff like that. Cool. Um, cool. So we're trying to keep people together with that. Um, for sure. As for the club, I would, I would think that, um, you know, the main focus really is just kind of like helping people like choose what kind of hammock they want to have and just like, you know, gather people. Because, you know, that's, that's really what it's about, like meeting awesome people and, and just having a good time. Um, and then, you know, we try and plan like different kinds of events, especially like, of course, we're going to do another end of year party again, um, try and make that like the big event of the year. And then otherwise we might have like small different hangouts. Maybe we'll do like a campus takeover day, you know, where mm -hmm. like everyone will just go all over campus at like a certain time. Like, almost like a flash mob of hangouts. Like, yeah. Imagine that. <laughs> Um, it's paradise. We'll it's paradise. Paradise. It's paradise. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, we might also do some smaller events. Um, I remember actually at the hammock party, um, we were actually right next to an elementary school. Um, it was actually interesting because some of the teachers actually would bring their kids out to just like <laughs> do their schoolwork, sitting and just watch all the people in hammocks. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I actually ended up talking to one of the science teachers there, and he was, you know, saying it's like, yeah, we really love what you guys are doing out here. And we think it'd be really cool if you know you partner, partnered up with us and like did this or like let us know more and maybe we can you know help out. We'll start young. Start young. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So I mean, there are definitely a lot of opportunities that to connect with the community and also I think we can definitely look into that. That is beyond incredible. Beyond incredible. Said, you know, all about hanging out, hanging out with people and my life. So. So. You guys are incredible, you guys are incredible, yeah, incredible. Yeah, Thank incredible. You. Thank you so much for your time. So much for your time. time. Everything. 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 And if you want to have any final, have any final words, yeah. if you, we can finish this. Awesome. 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 I appreciate you awesome. taking awesome. me awesome. 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 Uh, I mean, it's like if I mean to people who like starting clubs. I mean, you know, th this was a real long time coming for us. I mean, you know, like you can you can track this back like you know two years even. Um, so I mean, you're not gonna start one overnight, most likely. Um, you know, be, you know, start small, be super consistent, you know, with whatever you do and talk about it a lot, <laughs> but don't, don't know people too much. <laughs> yeah, of course, communication is key on anything. So, um, I mean, between Jeff and I planning the event, we probably communicated almost every night on something that we had to like yeah. check if we had to cover like food or, um, monies, check up on the monies, mm -hmm. this email, that email, we also... Um, there's definitely a lot of communications that's yeah. necessary between small groups and large groups. So definitely assemble like a core team that you can have them like spread information out quickly. Mm -hmm. um, but also have like your, you know, the main person that you'll talk with. Because um, sometimes you just have to make executive decisions. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Like whether it might be like a, like a t-shirt design and choosing like which one should we really do this or that. Um, and just going for it and then just having fun like honestly like don't get wrapped up in yeah. all the logistics and minor details just enjoy it perfect device perfect device so there you have it there you have it so you have it. Have it. So much you have it. Have fun and uh, fun and uh, living living the good living, life living the good life yeah yeah <laughs> thank you jefferson douglas and douglas thank you so much bye bye see ya